Cheeky Richo's Pulled Pork. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Pulled Pork. Today we are going to cook a very large piece of shoulder roasting pork over a very low heat for a very long time. So we just sprinkle the rind with oil and salt and then we're going to rub that all in to all of the surfaces and then we're going to cook it in a slow oven about 150 degrees Celsius for about six or eight hours until you can get two forks and pull it all apart. So just give it a good massage all over. Just wipe off the excess with some paper towel. Okay, now we're just going to send some water in there as well to keep it nice and moist. There's no point putting any more seasoning in at this stage because it will actually burn. All right, after four and a half hours, our pork is cooked. You can see how easy it just tears apart. It's time to take it off. Because this has been cooking very, very slowly, a lot of the juices have emitted from the pork along with the fat. Now this is going to make superb stock, but we don't want to keep the fat. So what we're going to do is tip it into a tall container. The reason that we do this is the fat will settle to the top of the container. Once it's chilled, we'll just be able to remove that fat layer. So just pop that into the fridge, chill it. When that fat layer is set, you'll find that the juice underneath has actually gone quite gelatinous and set like a jelly. Okay, we just remove the crackling off the pork, which is really quite crunchy, and put it to one side. Remove the fat from the pork, and the pieces of pork are going to get pulled off just with tongs, and then shredded with two forks. You see how moist and tender this meat is? While that's happening, I'll get onto the gravy. Okay, for the seasoning in our gravy, we are going to use the pan juices. Most of the fluid has been removed from that, including the fat. We just sprinkle flour into the bottom of that. We're going to brown the flour on a little hot plate. We have to move it around on the little hot plate because it's quite small. It's over low heat. We need to brown this flour off to give our pork colour and flavour. We'll just release anything that's stuck on the bottom. And just move it around gently so that all of the flour has an opportunity to brown. And then it's in with some cracked pepper, just to taste. A sprinkle of cayenne, just a little. It's just cold water all at once. Okay, then we add our Worcestershire sauce, our Cheeky Richo balsamic glaze, and our Cheeky Richo homemade tomato paste. Keep this moving. All little pieces of meat in the bottom of the pan there. We want to mush them down and have them incorporated well in the gravy. And we have to keep moving the pan around the little hot plate because it's only quite small. Okay, once you're satisfied with the consistency of your gravy, you can make it as thick or as thin as you like. We're going to add our pork to it, fold it all through and then serve it with our vegetables. Okay, now we just get our gravy and we tip it into a jug because we're only going to put as much gravy as we need to into our pulled pork so it's not too sloppy. At this point you can adjust it for seasoning. Make sure it's got enough salt and pepper or whatever else that you want to put in it. So here's our pulled pork here. You can see it's all sort of quite single stranded. Turn your heat on just as low as it will go. Pour a bit of our gravy on top and mix it all around. Home cooked pulled pork. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And we are uploading lots of videos every week. And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's pulled pork. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.